Absolutely, my man. Absolutely. Good. This is Kalua. That's my little baby. Kalua, I'm Larry. Say hi, Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> my little fat chunk. <laughs> so, I'm glad you came. What do you think of the place, huh? I think it's dope, man. This is legit. It's not bad, huh? Fair we can enough. get busy in here. Seriously. Yeah, totally. like how it's compact. Yeah. I actually got a few more pieces. I got a room there we're going to blow open. So, awesome. we're getting some glute machines and a couple other pieces. So, it's coming together. You know, we do a lot. Yeah. So you have a very big, um, much light area. Yeah, yeah. We got MMA. We got a jiu-jitsu wrestling class. And, uh, you know, it's just for people to stretch and you know, it's a UBU gym, you know what I mean? I like it, yeah. Yeah, I don't have a membership, I got a club. I've turned like 200 <laughs> people down. Really? Yeah, I just, you know what? I don't want assholes in my gym, you know? I mean, everybody loves to be here, and it's like, I don't lose anybody unless they get a job out of state or they move or, you know, it's just something that, it's a part of something, you know what I mean? It's like old school, which is yeah. cool. Everyone knows each other. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right, like and you that. get your space, you get your respect, no belittling and then bugging people and, uh, you know, mad dogging and it's just, it, it's my spot. Yeah, long term, yeah. that's smart, keep people coming back. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I mean, I could be making a lot of money short term, but you know what, I'm, I'm growing something that, that people are happy to be a part of, so. Awesome, yeah. man. Yeah, it's good, it's yeah. good. Just, I ate so much chicken that I'm like, I can't look at it. You yeah, know? it does get very bland. Dude, it That's gets crazy. crazy. Ground turkey, but for some reason, I'm like a carnivore, bro. Beef, I never get sick of. You know, and right now I'm about 310. So. Oh man, I'm solid. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I hit a thousand three the other day. Sick. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting back on the platform in a minute. If, if my equipment levels out on time, um, let me see about the Arnold. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing the Arnold. Are you gonna do the Arnold? You're gonna do the raw thing, right? Yeah. Cool. I'm chasing not Eric and Rage record, so we'll see. What's that? I'm chasing Eric and Rage record. Oh, Rage, yeah. Rage and Rage. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, I tore my Achilles tendon, oh, so they put it back on. I just got out of a boot like three weeks ago. I only hit four workouts, and I hit over 1,000 the other day, so <laughs> I'm on track. I'm not, <laughs> even, say. I'm not even close to being at level yet, so, you know, I'm just at the beginning of my training cycle, so. All right, nice and easy. Go ahead. Pull on. Now what you're doing is you're separating. So what you're doing is you're bringing your arm out away from your body. Always keep your arm into your body. Well, sir. Yeah. So when you go down, like watch go with me. I'm gonna take my whole body and I'm gonna come down. Okay. Instead of just doing this. Right. You know what I mean? Just like anything else we do, it's all chain drive, you know what I mean? Right. So nice and easy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Boom, there you go. And your wrist, always bring your wrist to the inside. So when I'm coming, I'm always here. Never want to go here. Right. Unless you're pressing, and a pressing is going to hurt you. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know who uh, Travis Bajan is? Right. I beat Travis, okay? And when I beat Travis, it was a press. My elbow was sore for like three weeks. Okay, I don't want to do that. But, you know, <laughs> for the win, for the win. Right, right. It's the win. You know, what we talk about, a win's a win. Exactly. Whether, who, who said that? Whether it's an inch or a mile, Vin Diesel. Right, right. Right? A win's a win, you know? All right, nice and easy. There you go, pull it in, 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 pull it in. There, but see, we went off the edge there. See, all this is real estate. So what I can do is I can come in anywhere I want in this pad. Like if I set up with you here, go ahead, hit me. I can pull back and open you up. You okay. understand what I mean? Okay. But I'm staying within this real estate. If I go off and they're looking, <laughs> then you get fouled. Okay. Okay? Got it. Right. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Now, there's a very important thing you gotta learn about gripping. Grip my hand, and when you're pulling, what are you pulling with? My lats. No, no, with your hand. With my hand? Well, thinking uh, my next finger goes. No. The most important fingers in arm wrestling are these two. Okay. Okay, now watch. Hold me back, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn your wrist, okay? Okay. Go ahead, go. 
and I can turn it. Okay. Now grip me, get your hands over here, grip me with these two fingers. No one's ever going to let you start like that. <laughs> okay. Alright, so straighten it out. No, no, no. Here. Straighten it out. Okay. Now grip me with those, those two fingers and your index. Ready? Okay. Now I can't turn you. You understand what I mean? So what you're doing is you're preventing my wrist from moving. You're okay. locking me in. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Preventing your wrist from moving. Correct. You so. Get a little chalk. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we both started to sweat right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're 300 pounds or more, you sweat like a fucking pig. Yeah? <laughs> Give me your elbow. <laughs> Give me your elbow. Right. Yeah, Alex knows nothing about it. <laughs> okay, now we got some grip. Okay. Now, go ahead. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you back pressure. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. You get in position. Ready? Yeah. You pull. Hard as you can. Pull. Against it. Yeah. No, no, no. Just pin me. All right. Go. Hard. See how you go ahead. Give me all the power you want. Now you know what I'm doing. I'm just laying down. I'm taking my body weight and I'm using it against you. Okay. okay. Arm wrestling and people. Let me tell you, arm wrestling is the hardest fucking thing I ever did in my life because <laughs> it's so technical. You know, the main thing with arm wrestling, especially you being stronger than everybody else, is they're going to attack your hand. Okay, they attack your hand, and then all the muscle doesn't mean shit. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Whip up with me again. All right, ready? All right. And go. Go. See how I'm pulling on your hand? See what I'm doing here? I'm pulling, and I'm separating your fingers. I'm bringing your wrist to that negative position. Okay. Okay, you never want to do that either. So. The first thing, and especially these guys got hits where it's ready, boom! You know what I mean? So you gotta watch out for that. And to do that, grip them from here, the whole hand. Okay. Okay? And then when they hit, because you're not gonna be as fast like, like Vosgen, his hit's like a shotgun blast. When I first started arm wrestling, I was like, oh, this little dude's gonna come. Dude, we locked up, and it was literally like, boom! <laughs> boom! And I was like, wait a minute, this is, whoa, whoa, whoa. Got in again, boom, boom, for two years. You can't hold a little motherfucker. He's like a fucking bazooka coming out of his arm. And it's like zero, whoo, and it's already done. You know, I mean, he's gone into shows and gone into five different weight classes and won them all. It's very impressive. Yeah. What was the bodybuilder dude that you beat? What was his name? Chris Chandler. You ever hear of him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he's like 260, 275, somewhere around there. Big old motherfucker. Vosgen flashed him. Literally, boom! I mean, it was so fast. And then he was like off the table, and Vosgen's going like this, and Chris is just like this. Didn't even know what hit him. So Vosgen's taught me everything that I know. Matter of fact, Vosgen, why don't you come over here with us? Now, Vosgen is my coach. Vosgen's a three-time world champion, and he's, he's the real deal. So why don't you step away for a minute, sure. warm up with me, just hit me a couple times so he understands what the heck is going on. Now, the force, especially from a lighter guy, because they have a lot bigger, a lot quicker reflexes than we do, you know what I mean? There's not a whole hell of a lot of big heavyweights that can hit with the t intensity that he hits with. Now we're slipping. This is a warm -up. Yeah, this is all warm up to make sure everything's firing in the right place. hit me. Now he's got, look how small his hand is, but it's so thick Yeah. as well. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. his grip to grip him is tough. So it's hard and, and grip, arm wrestling is cheating. 
<laughs> is what it is. And, and to get the biggest... It is called technique. Yeah, it's technique. It's also called cheating. <laughs> so, you know, there's the thing called the ref's grip. Are you familiar with it? No. A ref's grip is for 30 seconds. If you can't get a grip, they go ref's grip. Then they put our hands up and they set us together. But with Vaz, it, it's really hard, especially my hand, to get a good grip. Okay? Well, referee is closing, 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 ready, go. You can't move once he closes. Yeah, there's no resetting, there's no anything. Okay. All right. Oh, that's a strong grip. I can't hear <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to search for the weakest place. Huh? <laughs> Because he put a really strong grip. Okay. There is always way out. <laughs> you want me to hit first? Yeah, yeah, hit. Straight first. See that? So in his case, check the difference between our body weight. Right. It will be stupid for me if I go side or inside, inside, where he can put his body weight against my arm. I'm done, I can't make it. Total strategy here. I have to attack somewhere where, in my opinion, it's easier to open his hand, which is probably fingers outside, you know? Okay. Outside means you're... He's gonna outside, go so this the way. The one that I did was this. Right. So. I decided to attack fingers and hand, which is weaker than this huge forearm. So. Okay. But I have advantage because I hit first. Right. So it's easier for me. It's harder for those who protect. Oh. And the only way I was able to grab it was these bottom fingers. Yeah. I came here, but I feel like he stopped me. He went with negative wrist, he put the press. Right, exactly. He likes the press move. And it's so powerful for my weight today. I just can't resist the press. Because when he presses, it's with shoulder loop. His big body weight, upper body. His upper, upper body is like more than my whole body weight, basically. <laughs> Just about. So, right, he's 160 pounds. Imagine yeah. you put all that weight in a move. It becomes yeah. more powerful. But slow much. So I don't, I don't he takes slow advantage in any way that he can. Come on up. Alright. Whenever you do left, my right arm is shot. Um, I'm with uh, Alex. I don't really do left. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. Hey, Vaz, you want to go left with him a little bit? I don't do either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone here do that? Uh, Alex. Where's Alex? <laughs> Come here. Go left with him. Okay. Alex just won the Fit Expo. Oh, congrats, man. That's yeah, awesome. so he's, uh, he is the champion, my friend. That's awesome. And he'll keep on fighting to the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, is that a copyright infringement? We can't do that shit on film, huh? Don't <laughs> worry, we can censor it. <laughs> Remember what I told you, don't separate here. So you want me as close as I can to my elbow? I want you to lean over. Here? Yeah. Pull down with your body. He'll let you go, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. It's no. When you're going down, pull in this way also. Pull in my wrist. Yeah. It's towards my yeah. belly. Just go all the way down, go all the way down. Okay. Here. One of the things that I usually show newcomers is this, look. 
that, you know, like shoulder, knees, and toes, that, that song? <laughs> I do this. Forearm, bicep, shoulder, cheek. Okay, that teaches you how to be square to the table, safe, and it teaches you how to take your hand with you as you're coming down. And notice, watch when he's doing it. Do it in slow motion. Look in here. Oh, uh, he's, he's, he's all tight. See that? So he's all one, all in here. Okay. Okay, and he's bringing you into his positive position. And as he goes down, pulling he's you. pulling this yeah. way to open you up. Okay. Because if you do this, you're weak. Right. But if you stay here, you're strong. Elbow forward, so your Come hand in. comes yeah. up. Look. You stand up, so you're, you're close, so you have to be Yeah. So if you're closer than the fist. They'll, they'll have to push you back, so this is When you up. start. Right. Now, do the forearm, bicep, shoulder, cheek. Forearm, forearm. bicep, shoulder, cheek. There you go. That's a perfect move. Now you need to move your elbow with it. So you need to end here, exactly. There you go. That's a very good, yeah, very good. But it takes time to practice and to make it smoother, more powerful and, and correct all the time. Meaning three years. All right, I got time. <laughs> <laughs> I got time. Because in real situation, you don't have time to think. Right. It's like half second, the match. So it needs to be so sharp in your mind and motions that just automatic, natural move. Okay. You know, in the beginning, it's all about power for you. But when he's arm wrestling you, he's thinking about strategy and how to defend himself against your strength. So you're just pulling and you're like, ah! He's like, oh, look at his forearm. I'll pull in a little here. I'll use some body here. He's trying to press me. I'm going to round out to the outside. That's so a lot of different things are going through his that's head. That's the main question. Well, what works better, technique, speed, strength? It's, it's, if, if you want technique, you need the strength. But sometimes you could bust out a, a certain technique with speed. That's why this is a combat sport, not a strength sport. So let's just say I need to get you in a hook, but you're a top roller. Normally that, that requires strength. But sometimes if you're going in a hook and I need to top roll, sometimes strength doesn't work. If I'm tight like this and I try to top roll you, but you're a very good hooker here, it's not going to work, but maybe speed can. See what I mean? Okay. Alex is actually one of the faster heavyweights. Yeah, because I'm the smallest one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Okay. okay, go for it. Don't say like that. I feel a heavyweight too. You are a heavyweight coach. We love you, baby. <laughs> See that form, bicep, shoulder, cheek? Get that arm down, the, your right arm, drop it down. This arm? Yeah, drop it down. Just go right off the edge of that table. Yeah. I'm going in this direction then. There. And you're watching your hand over. Yeah, and drag, drag it. it. Drag it here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah, you have, you have the potential. I could feel the power, but you just don't know how to use it yet. Yeah. I could feel you just kind of squeezing and moving your body with it. When really this is like a, it's, it's three dimensional. So it's not just this, it's also this and this, right? So if, if the other, if my opponent weren't to use any power, the peop, the, usually I'll beat people like this because that's the, that's the first thing that I move. It's this and then I'll end up pinning them. But you'll see us lock up because he's pulling towards himself as well. So you'll see this, but you're not seeing this or this. Right. Because we're both attacking that at the same time. No watch, we'll show you now. All right. doing is I'm pulling my wrist into that positive position here and then I'm dragging him down. So let's go over the angles. I'm what I'm trying to do is bring my wrist in which gives me more power and as I'm doing this I'm also trying to be as vertical as, as possible right. here and dragging at the same time 
while applying side pressure. Right. Okay. But I'm taking but my fingers here and I'm moving my wrist and dragging him down here. Yeah, because he's holding right. there. So the pinky and the middle finger, an area that you never, ever, ever use, is what you most importantly need to use. Okay. Okay. Now watch, I'm going to have him hit me now, and I'm not going to use my pinky or my, uh, my ring finger. Okay? I'm just going to do what you did, like this way. Yeah, it leaves a gap there. You so see the gap? It, it almost automatically I can't, allows I can't hold him. But if I come in here... If there's no gap now, he's maintaining that, it's a lot more difficult for me to hold. So and now, I'm gripping inward here. maybe break down the steps. Uh, I know you said your first move is this. Right, so, so uh, that's... Uh, I can just work on that for now, what my first movement should be. Right, so your first movement... There, well, actually, the first movement is, a, is, is multiple things moving at the same time. Yeah, so, so you're not gonna be able to hit like he hits. Right, so it's not... That's a learned thing that it's takes not, a while. It's, I can show you in steps, right, okay. what, what I do. Uh, left-handed, let's just say left, what I do left-handed. It's this, 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 and this. But that's not. And look how you look what motion. your arm did. Right. It's one motion. So, so it's, show them at a medium speed. Right. Go ahead. So it's not going to hurt you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to hit it. I'm just going to show you. Look. See. Okay. So you do that. First, we're gonna practice this. Just put your wrist in and move your elbow back. That's all you're gonna do for now. In one motion, yeah. yeah. So this, look. I'm not moving back, I'm just just arm and, and lat. So do that. But remember, you wanna maintain this as vertical as possible, yeah. Go even, while, even while I'm bringing it back? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. As you do that, look at my elbow. It moves up. I get it. Okay. So if I move it and down. And by the way, if you lift him off the pad, that, that's, that's a foul. Right. For One me. foul, no, no for, for him. If I, if I do this or do, do this, that's an elbow foul. And then they restart the match. Okay. So let's practice You get that one again. foul, and then you get another chance. You get a second foul, you lose a match. Exactly. Keep doing that. Now have that motion in your mind. Now stop. Start from here. Now do that forearm, bicep, shoulder, cheek. As you're doing that, and drag your elbow. Go for it. Drag back. Forearm. Just overloaded his fucking Yeah. yeah. No, no, <laughs> <forearm. laughs> too many things to think about. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just do this first. Okay. Do that first. Stop. Forearm, bicep, shoulder, cheek. Again. Slide. Forearm, shoulder, bicep, cheek. Go. Go for it. Slide. Forearm. forearm. Shoulder, bicep, cheek. Again. Forearm, bicep, bicep shoulder, shoulder cheek. cheek. Yeah, that's the motion. Okay. And then I can teach you something else, but I don't want to do that. That you're you're doing this right, but really it's you're going underneath the table. Well, you don't have to do that for now. Right. Okay. Now switch back. <clears throat> Oh, you didn't need to. You're good. Okay. Now, from here, now that king's move thing that we were talking about. Yeah. All right. Now, what I want you to do is hit me. Okay. Hit it. Go. Go. Go ahead. As hard as you can. Go ahead. Just keep going. Keep going. This is a king's move. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm locked into my lat, but I'm letting my arm go here. Not a lot of people can do this. I can form a lock with my arm, and what I can do is strategically, I can, I can kind of rope-a-dope you and tire you out until the point, like Chris Taylor, the guy that he smoked, I was arm wrestling him, and I got him in a king's move, and I was like, boom, 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 and all of a sudden I felt him, eh. and I was like, and I nailed him. He was gassed. He was gassed. And you'll know, the motherfucker will be like, boom, boom, and all of a sudden, and you're like, ah, 
a moment of entry. All right. And then you slide in and you do what you got to do. Okay. All right. So there's a lot of different aspects. There's, there's your hook in here. Get into a hook like this, and I'm going to hook also. And then pull on me. Now, when you pull, pull with your lat. Pull with your bicep. Now, a lot of people don't understand this, and most arm wrestlers don't teach you it, but they use it. When you pull, pull with your bicep and your lat. Pull. No, 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 no. Pin me. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, your main thing, keep going. Your main pull is from here. Uh-uh. Okay. The lowest point of your bicep is your weakest point of your bicep. Now, lock up with me again, but do it from your upper bicep and your shoulder. It's here, 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 and here. So I'm, and I'm pulling from all those areas. Okay? Pulling. Hook, hook me, hook me, and then we're gonna pull, hook together. All right, I'm not quite understanding how to use this part of my bicep instead of the bottom. Tighten this up, you feel that? Okay, tighten it up. Now, from here, pull from here instead of here. Pull in here. Because lower bicep, I can open you up. But if you're up here, then that ties in with the rest of your body. Okay. Does that make sense? A bit. I'm not getting the movement, so I'm pulling up. I'm pulling this way to use this well, part of my not on, not on the hook. Not, not, not on the hook. On the hook, we're hooking in, yeah. and then we're just going to pull. Go ahead, pull, pull, hook in with me. Bring your body across. Bring your elbow down. Elbow down. Go ahead, pull with your body, pull with your body, pull with your body. Now, but hold on. <clears throat> Start up here, and when you end, end here. I start here. Start at the corner. Start at the corner, up high, and then I pull. Okay. We're going real estate here. Okay. All right, so, you know, dude, it's crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of it's information. It's very, very confusing, and it takes, you know, it was weird, for like three years, I was just muscling everybody. And the day I went against Michael Todd, all of a sudden, you know, he was trying to press me. You're not a press like that, right? No, I haven't learned how to press. Okay, when you press, you're gonna press like this. Like bench pressing. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, get up top here, get up and you're gonna go like this, and you're gonna press. I feel that elbow already, I'm right. using pressure. But, when you go to press, there's a way out of it. Press. I just pulled out of your power range. You can't press now. Okay, so that'll be too early to press, wouldn't it? Well, as you press, go ahead and press. Go ahead, press, press, press. Okay, there's your press, okay? But watch, I can do it pretty much at any point. Press. Okay. So what I've done was I've taken your energy and I've used it against you. Make sense? Yeah, I get it. Like Vosgen, when Vosgen hit me, he hit me and what he did was when he hit me, he went like this around my strength. Fucking guy's a genius. He really taught me everything that I know. He's a good teacher. He's a great <laughs> teacher. He's one of the best in the world. I'm fortunate to have him running my arm wrestling program at Mendy's Gym at 6371 Van Nuys Boulevard, Van Nuys, California. <laughs> Come on by. You know, we're pretty much it for Los Angeles. We are the premier arm wrestling club. And on Tuesday nights, you'll see 20, 30 guys in here. We'll have four tables going. It's, it's crazy. And we all have a good time. It's like a big old family, you know what I mean? That's awesome. Yeah, arm wrestlers are cool when they're your arm wrestlers, but all the rest of the arm wrestlers are fucking dickheads. Every goddamn one of you motherfuckers. Give it arm and you know what? Show. It's no surprise. They all know how I feel about them. <laughs> but my guys are cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> you'll see. You'll call me up when you get into it, and you'll be like, holy shit, these motherfuckers suck. You know what it is? You're a world champion coming into another sport and you start spanking their good guys. You know, like Travis Bajan, I smoked his ass. And then afterwards, now if you're a world champion and I'm a world champion coming into another sport, right? Is, are you gonna let me win? Of course. No way. 
I smoke his ass, and then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was all tripped out. And then afterwards, he goes, I let Mendy win. <laughs> you being That's a world word. champion, yeah. are you ever going to let somebody get in a real thing with you and smoke you, especially from another sport? Absolutely not. Hell no. Yeah, no way. Hell no. It's not going to happen. You know, and people are like, oh, yeah, he let you win. It's like, dude, he got spanked. Take a peek at it. It's on YouTube. <laughs> I definitely will. <laughs> I'll take a look at so it. So anyway, that's it for arm wrestling, guys. I think we uh, kind of <laughs> tapped, in on, my brain. tapped in on a we few things. <laughs> and he just did strength wars today, so he's tired. Yeah, and two days before that. Monday and, and two days before that. So. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, very cool. Awesome. Thank you, man. No, bro, come on. All right. That was good shit. I better win. You better. No. Eight, eight oh, yeah. you didn't win. Okay, come here. Right now. I don't have a grip here. Right there. There you go. You know, that really sucks that you did that grip to me. There you go. Ref's grip. No, he has to decide. Fine, <laughs> what's ref's grip? I thought we were ref's grip. And he, the ref is here. Okay, ref's grip. Okay. Back. You want power? Under? Over. You? Over. Okay. Yeah, as high as possible. Don't move. Closing this first. Now closing this first. Go! Hey, you mind? Yeah. <laughs> hey, come here. I still love you. <laughs> hey, but by the way, I have to be honest with you. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Alex just won the LA Fit Expo a couple that days ago, so he just went through like a major show. So I kind of have the advantage right now, just to let all you people know. That's enough. Slow. I don't want to hurt you. No, no, let's just go, go slow. Let's go hook a little bit. No, I ain't your hooker, bro. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Will be your first date for arm wrestling? Huh? When you come back. Sorry? When you move back, will be your first training? Yes. <laughs> You're almost there right now. <laughs> You're almost there right now. <laughs> Work on the technique. Yeah, don't be afraid. I'm not... Go, go for it. It's not resisting. Yeah. We're just working with your power. I'll give you some pressure, but... I'm not gonna, you know, <laughs> hit or anything. But we'll go for it. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Uh, get that shoulder closer to that corner there. Closer here. Yeah. And bring your elbow forward. Hold up. Here. When you bring your hand goes up. Ah, it's better to start like this because you keep it low, it's closer to this. Right. It's closer to this. Okay. Yeah, like this way you want to start and you want to keep this angle all the time. Since you won't be arm wrestling. Low arm, no good. Wrist up, right, just like that. You could have it done, but that's a, it's for a different reason. Okay. But normally it's like this, without covering the other opponent's thumb knuckle. So just like this. I have my, my wrist thumped, but if I were to do that, and we both do that, we'll start covering our thumb knuckles, but here it looks pretty good, okay? okay. So now you feel that pressure there? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Yeah. More bending the wrist. More here? Yeah, remember what I thought of this? Your wrist was almost straight. Uh -huh. Very good. Because the more you bend, the more his wrist gets negative. Normally, if the opponent's palm is facing up, like this, 
that initiates this, right? Your biceps are probably a lot stronger than mine. <laughs> so if you, you're attacking this now, if we were like this, you know, that's more shoulder, that's more this, that's more bicep. If we're like this, now I'm attacking, you're not using this as much anymore. And I'm attacking this and I'm spreading you out, taking you away from your shoulder and your bicep. Okay. If we're going inside, that is your shoulder and that is your bicep. Okay. That's what inside means, hooking. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. Very good. That's not bad. Again. Very good. Seriously, kill him. Yeah. 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 Wow, look at the thickness here. <laughs> then, That's why I won't write, <laughs> not left. <laughs> that is okay, let's go. Well, right, that's Okay. Bring your body this way, see? Center of the pad. So I'm here, it's here. Yeah, that's not here. Yeah. So your shoulder appears behind your arm, which is safer position. Bring body this More? way. More? Yeah. Look, you're like this. I want you like this. I was like this? Yeah. And you want me uh -huh. on the left side? Okay. Oh, in here. Okay. Keep always shoulder behind your head. Mm -hmm. Shoulder behind, the, I get it. Okay. Square the other shoulder. Here? Uh huh. This way. Yeah, in technique, but still, the motion is good, but you're still missing this. Yeah. Okay. I'm not pulling hard enough back. Exactly. Okay. Watch. I just show no power. Just pull your forearm into okay. your chest. Don't resist. Okay. Sure. See my elbow from here. Watch. I travel this much. And I open up your arm that much. Watch. the other day. This is the correct technique. Hold. Hold. Oh, okay. This is too straight to stand up. Keep it. Aha, uh -huh. now it's difficult for me to move. Okay. Go slow motion. Pull back. See, when you're pushing up, you're pushing up in your hands. Your hands have nothing to do with the fucking blood pressure. Uh huh. Pull it down, you're going to try to separate that. So if I'm going straight you're back. The correct back, technique means slow motion. Your lat and elbow connected. I'll put something here. So as you're dragging, you don't want to drop this. So put that under yeah, your armpit. So we never did this. Whatever happens, this is first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the guinea pig. Okay. Keep it up there. Yeah. Nope. So I'm starting here. Hold your lat. It kind of won't. Oh, there is a belt. It's okay. This Pinch is good. Pinch your back back on there. Shoulders yeah. weights together. So now pinch that into your. It's not a flat. Hold. It's hold. Not a flat. Hold. Hold. No, you separated. Do you, you feel like it's going to pull? You should be able to even come close. No, I don't think so. No. Straighten your wrist out. Pull back. Pull. Nope, you're separated. Exactly. Now go to the Elbows side. against your lap. You're going to That's much that. better. Before you were separating, you, this distance nope. was too much. All right, wrap it. Okay. You want to close that. Right what part okay. of another? You should be able to come closer. No, without. You do not understand. I, like, I get it. I'm not saying Great. I feel at the top of my butt. Tell him in Spanish he's not close. You shouldn't come close to touch it. <laughs> Say it, though, please. <laughs> and normally people who are new in arm wrestling, they come and like um, this, chest uh, out, nice. Uh, <laughs> this <laughs> limits your moves. You can't use your body like a spring. I will do chest in, shoulders forward. Okay. Remember we were talking about Conor McGregor or somebody else like that? You can reach that far punching point using that shoulder, shoulder distance move. So this, it's the opposite. So he explodes this way, right? Yeah. I create this. My elbow, shoulder is back already, fully. Chest out is back. In here, then I can do this much. Okay. Chest is like this before the start. No more space to go. It's back fully. 
But this, I can work this much. I can reach my losing arm to That's that the shotgun that Scott was talking about. That you're, you're using that to explode outward like mm -hmm. that. So, so when you finish, shoulder, you may be extended here, like or you're, just, you're not going to finish no, here? No, right? you'll, you'll, I mean, we're exaggerating it, okay. <laughs> but, but you'll, you'll see kind of a shoulder motion, and you'll also see our body turn a little bit too. The body turning isn't until like you're, you're a little bit more after three year mark. Normally, before three years, you want to be square, so you still want to get this motion down, so it's this. It's not, we're exaggerating, just to show you the motion, but it's this. Okay. Never pulling back. Push up, you release your package. Pull. Uh huh. Pull yeah. with your belly. Belly. Pull with that back. Pull with that back. Pull with that yeah. back. Up. The other shoulder square. There you go. That shoulder goes yeah. below the table. You see how I held it at okay. the beginning and how I held it at the end? Yes. When you get a hand out, wait until you're stable. Now yeah. this and this and one. Once you're stable, okay. then you begin. But if you're all like this, you can't do nothing. Right, right, do that again, but close yeah. against the table. And don't remove your stomach from that table. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes. See, that was you are very tight good. already. Yeah. When you're here, you're like this, not like this. Yeah, and don't step away from the table because I just noticed that too. You were like this far away. You want to be touching it. Okay. And that last rep there, I was uh, up, I was in contact with the table. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Which is yeah. good because show him you're now when you're in contact with the table, and he has you in a position where go for it, where I'm kind of holding, right? I'll be above the table holding. And what do you do? You connect to the table. You can't see it, but show him what you're doing. I use this to look. I yeah. push this way, he's, this way, and pull this yeah, way. He's to pulling, he's pulling like. this way, and he's pulling from this peg. So he's doing this. Mm -hmm. Right, so that keeps him to I finish the tournaments. Here I have blue. Yeah, you have bruises in your stomach. Because it's constantly in contact. Right. And the table is almost getting cutting into you. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, in your explosion, the head, I use the table to like. The table. This is attached to the floor. Uh, right. <laughs> so, but I, I use that boom. You're kicking off the table, but it's attached to it, yeah. And feet positioning have a lot to do with it as well. But that kick starts from zero point, not from distance coming, hitting, and like. Right. Okay. Like you generate that speed explosion from unmoved point. Not coming, hitting, and going back. Okay. You're going to do it? You do. And if, like I said, if he were to hold, and let's just say he, he were to catch me in this position, it's okay because I'm now connected to my arm, to this peg, and to the table. And I'm not going to let him try to pull back. I'm not going to let him do that. I'm connected to everything, to the table, to myself, to this peg, right? If, if one thing lets go, maybe this will go, or if I let go of the table, whatever. Basically, he puts his body against the table, and I'm trying to pull that body. Right. I can't. And basically the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I had cases that I pulled opponent. And the table comes with. We broke with. the platform. <laughs> And the table with the opponent came over me. Yeah. Oh my God. I pinned him in here when I was on the floor. But the already. table was like this. <laughs> oh my of God. course, that's not a count. Mm -hmm. yeah. That doesn't count. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That was incredible. Like martial art, any martial art, it takes time to learn. You can't learn judo from the first lesson. Right. Same thing, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you for coming. Yeah. No, 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 when I move you. back to LA, I'll be sure to stop by. Yeah, regular. you're definitely going to be. You're, you're going to be basically like Scott. I mean, he. It took him years to get to the point where he's at today. Um, but you'll probably be there too. It'll take. It's not going to take like what took me like eight years, nine years to do this. You know, you'll, you, it'll be maybe like three years, two years, and you'll be, you know, up there with those guys. <laughs> That'll be something else. <laughs> if you train correctly. Right. If yeah, not, I want to be there too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>